advanced apes. Humans are mortal animals that can dream of the infinite, so it is not surprising that we have always been fascinated by the concept of a mortal life. But is it possible? Can we live forever? Forever ever? One of the oldest pieces of human literature, the Epic of Gilgamesh, attempted to answer this question. In the epic, Gilgamesh becomes distressed by the concept of death and desperately sought out eternal life. But in the end concluded in desperation, the life that you are seeking you will never find. When the gods created man, they allotted to him death, but life they retained in their own keeping. But Gilgamesh's warnings about seeking eternal life went unheeded. Our species inherently strives for eternity. Throughout human history, explorers from many different cultures searched for a mythological restorative spring, rumored to have properties necessary to cure aging, popularly known as the Fountain of Youth. Many religious traditions dreamed of paradise, a metaphysical realm free of all suffering, pain, and aging. And alchemists spent centuries committed to what they called the noblest of work, which was the production of potions and elixirs for eternal youth. Not only did alchemists always fall short of their goal, they often created substances that were dangerous and caused death. And so our ancestors were forced to experience lives that philosopher Thomas Hobbes referred to as nasty, brutish, and short. Our dreams have gone unfulfilled. Will we ever make our dreams a reality? Or are we chasing the end of a double rainbow? Average human life expectancy has increased dramatically over historical time. In ancient Rome, the average person could expect to live to 25. In 1900 United States, the average person could expect to live to 47. Today in the developed world, the average human approaches or exceeds 80. Scientists believe that most humans have always had inherent proclivity towards reaching 80. And it is just that our advances in technology are now allowing more of us to reach this evolved aging average. But more and more, scientists are now also considering it possible that we are on the cusp of what is being termed radical life extension. Radical life extension is not hypothesized to come from an elixir or a stone, but rather consecutive and overlapping revolutions in genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics that will transform the human form. The genetics revolution is likely to be caused by a greater understanding of the genome leading to advances in synthetic biology. Since life expectancy is primarily determined by genes, we can study organisms like the hydra, which show abnormal aging patterns, and figure out their genetic tricks. We may be able to program and select genes that decrease or reverse the effects of aging and prevent degenerative diseases before they even occur at all. We may also be able to utilize stem cells to rejuvenate and eventually replace all of your organs. Going to the hospital would be like taking your car in for a checkup to get a replacement muffler or a change of tires. But as geneticist George Church points out, we can theoretically replace every organ except the brain. So dealing with your aging brain will be the biggest challenge as we extend life well past a century. That's where nanotechnology comes in. Our cells are complex, but they aren't infinitely complex. Researchers are starting to develop silicon microchips to model and interface with our brain. Neuroscientist Theodore Berger has proposed that this will gradually lead to the biomimetic replacement of brain parts. These types of technologies can help us rejuvenate the central neuronal body and allow us to connect our mind directly to the internet. We are already a technological hybrid. This is just internalizing the computational process that is already occurring externally. Finally, strong artificial intelligence should also help us lengthen our life. Futurist and inventor Ray Kurzweil predicts that by 2045, we will have created ubiquitous computational power, billions of times more powerful than a single human brain. With such computational power, AI could merge with our own intelligence, creating a robot-human hybrid civilization. This event has been termed the technological singularity. In this new world, humans will become increasingly non-biological. We will have the knowledge and the intelligence to indefinitely extend our existence and back up our mind. But this is not best conceived as just radical life extension, but also radical life expansion. We will have the abilities that most of us think of today as superhuman, which may not be as strange as it sounds. You and I both possess abilities that a human 200 years ago would have categorized as magic, like the ability to talk to anyone on the planet instantly wherever we are, or swallow a pill to cure us from a previously incurable communicable disease. In terms of how this process may materialize, 
Kurzweil explained that we will get to a point 15 years from now where, according to my models, we will be adding more than a year every year to your remaining life expectancy, where the sands of time are running in rather than running out. Of course, not everyone agrees. Some think that scientists working on the genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics revolutions are chasing an impossible dream, eventually to be dashed as Gilgamesh's was over 4,000 years ago. But what do you think? Will the science of the 21st century give us radical life extension? Or are we destined to dream forever about eternity? Let's discuss this in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Advanced apes.